In this video, I am going to show you how to use the offset function in Google Sheets. So this function is not used very often by many spreadsheet users. Um, a lot of people don't actually understand how to use it or why it's useful, but it's actually a very simple and useful function to use. Um, so what offset does is it will basically return a reference range that's shifted from the starting reference range. So the basic syntax of the function is offset and then you have your starting cell or cell reference and then you have offset rows, offset columns. This is going to be the number of rows or columns um, to shift by and then you have these optional height and width arguments that will adjust the height of the range um, starting at the offset target. So just by seeing this formula you might not understand what it does but once I go to the example it will make things a little bit more clear. So in this example spreadsheet I have four offset functions set up. So um, let me just put the syntax in here so we can see what it does. So remember these height and width arguments are optional. I'm not going to use them or go over them in this video. But we will just focus on our three arguments here. So cell reference, offset rows, offset columns. So let's take a look at this first one. So I'm starting at A2, which is this cell. And the first argument is offset rows and then it's offset columns. So I'm starting at A2 and I'm offsetting the row by one and I'm offsetting the column by zero. So you can see what is returned is the value in A3 because we're going down one row and we're going to the right zero rows because that's the third argument in the formula. So next I have two a uh, formula set to offset from A2 one row and one column. So let's see what that does. So I'm in A2. I'm going to go one row, one column. And you can see that is the return value. Um, so the next one here, we're in A2 again. We're going to offset zero rows and then one column. So you can see this is the return value. And then the last function here uh, the formula is to offset two rows and one column. So we're starting at A2. We're going to go two rows, one column. So you can see that is the return value. So now you can see offset just shifts your original cell or cell reference by the number of offset rows and offset columns that you have specified in the function. So now you might be wondering how would I use this function or when is it going to be useful? Most often this function is used for creating dynamic ranges. Um, so let me just show you what I mean by that. So I have some example data here and in this example data I just have different years of sales for um, these products and then I have this sum formula at the end. So this sum formula is specifically summing these ranges. And what happens is now if I have more sales data, say that I also want to include 2018 into this. So we'll just put 2018 sales. And we'll put some numbers in there. So now you can see my range is still only taking from the original range and if I want to include the new sales I would have to edit all of the formulas to include the new column that was entered. So that can get really tedious if you have a large file with a lot of different formulas set up and you're always adding new data. What you can do instead is you can use the offset function to create a more dynamic range 
so that as new data appears in your spreadsheet, you don't need to edit your formulas. So just a basic example of this, um, I will add the offset function into this sum um, to make it so that when I add a new column here, the sum automatically includes it. So this is going to be my formula. It's going to be sum, and then I'm going to offset, and I'm going to start at the very first column, and then I'm going to offset zero rows, one column, and we're going to sum all the way to D2, since that's where my data ends. So now, if I add a new column, we will we'll add 2018 sales and I'll just copy and paste these values you can see my sum automatically included that now if I add another column let's go 2017 sales you can see my offset automatically included that so why does that work because this offset function is telling Google Sheets that my range is always one column to the right of A2. So no matter um, how many columns are here, how many I add, my range is always starting one to the right of this very first column. So that is why this function is useful. It's usually used for creating dynamic ranges. This is just a basic example there's a lot of other ways as you begin to use offset that you can create ranges that can do a lot of different dynamic things. But hopefully, at least now, um, you can see why it is useful. It's, it, it's definitely something you should take the time to learn if you're a regular spreadsheet user. But that is pretty much it for this video. As always, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.